Now we're a little over a week away from the third annual Triad Dog Games. And if you haven't ever been, you need to go. The event helps the Sergei Foundation, which helps pets with emergency and life-saving health care. Karen Fullerton is here, and she has got a look at what we can expect this year. You're also with the Sergei Foundation, right? Yes, I actually founded it, and I'm the current CEO of the Sergei Foundation. And um, tell us a little bit about the foundation, if people aren't aware of it. Sure, our main mission is to help save pets' lives, dogs and cats uh, who are companion pets, so mm -hmm. not rescues or found, so people who actually own their pets, with life-saving care. So we help lower to moderate um, income families who can't afford a, you know, treatable one-time accident or illnesses that their pet might face. Awesome. This event is so much fun, the, the Triad Dog Games, because there's a little bit of everything. And one of the things that people come for most is the dog diving. Tell us about yes, that. Yes, that's probably a spectator favorite. And on the screen here, you see Story jump into um, about a 20,000 gallon pool. Holy cow. And uh, that's, it's, it's sort of a long distance competition. So Ultimate Air Dogs is the organization that puts this on for us. And Story actually is kind of a, a little celebrity. She's that. been a four time national champion and has been on Letterman and um, the Today Show. So she's that black dog right there. Yeah. And the dogs love doing this, don't they? It is. It's fun. It's just, you know, it's their nature, especially if they love water or just love, you know, to fetch. And it's open to beginners. It, it is a competition, but you can just come and sign up, uh, you know, just to try it. Or if you don't want to actually sign up for the competition, they have some practice jumps that you can uh, sign up for to do as well for a lower cost. And it, it, I mean, it's amazing to see, but if you have a dog that, you know, you, you want to train, you want to get involved in this type of thing, this is a great way to, you know, to get an idea of what they can do. Yes, because uh, Triad Dog Games, we're going to have pretty much every sport dog competition there. Uh, we, have, we saw Lindsay with DISC and DOC, and then we'll have some agility trainers and fly ball trainers, uh, you know, coming up as well. And so you can talk to anybody there about this, those different sport competitions and getting your dog involved. And, of course, you can just come without a competing dog. Mm -hmm. uh, dogs are welcome, just leashed and... You know, used to crowds. Yeah, and used to people. But it's so much fun to watch because these dogs love what they're doing, and but they're very much into the entertainment of it too. I mean, they they're 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 cool. so athletic. I mean, just to see some of these yes. dogs perform, and you're right, they're kind of hams, right? Yes, they just kind of love the attention and to, yep to do their tricks. So I great. love it. Well, it's going to go next weekend, May 14th and May 15th. So you have plenty of time to prepare and you know, write it down on your calendar. It's at the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. Beginners are welcome. Beginners are welcome to join. If you want more information about it, all you have to do is go to triaddoggames.com. Triaddoggames.com because you're going to love going and learning all about these dogs. And we're going to talk more about it coming up too.